Good morning or good afternoon or good evening, whatever time of day it may be for you. My name is Lauren and I'm here to do a little gentle yoga with you. Let's start by sitting with our legs crisscrossed, placing our hands upon our knees. Let's pull through our hands, pressing, pulling your heart center forward. Opening that upper chest, sitting up nice and tall. I want you to sit up out of your lower abdominal area. So don't raise here, raise here. Pressing your collarbone back. Maybe straighten your arms out a little bit. Breathe nice and deeply. back forward. Turn your hands upright. When your hands are down, it's, what you, it's because you want grounding. And when your hands are turned upright, it's to receive. So let's turn our hands upright. Close your eyes. Sit up nice and tall. Someone's pulling you with a string in the top of your head. I want us to breathe in, two, three, four, hold it, and exhale, two, three, four, five, six, and inhale, two, three, four, hold at the top, and exhale, two, three, four, five, six, and inhale, two, three, four, hold it, and exhale, two, three, four, five, six. Do this three more times at your own pace. the arms up above your head reach for the sky pulling rising up out of that lower abdominal area sit up nice and tall straighten the arms as much as you can press the arms back open that heart center inhale reach up one more time exhale drop the arms down to your side reaching up and over. Feel both sit bones on the mat as well while you do this. So that means you need to press your hand against the mat a little bit to do that. You might need to do that. And inhale, rise up both arms. Send the arms back a little bit. And exhale, drop down to the opposite side. Reaching up and over, both sit bones on the mat still. And inhale again to the center. Press the arms back, open that heart center. Exhale, drop down to the opposite side. And inhale once more, one last time to center. Press the arms back. Exhale, drop down. Inhale, 
pull back to center. Exhale, drop the hands down to the floor in front of you and walk your hands out. Let the head hang heavy. Nice deep breaths in. Slow, steady breaths out. Maybe your head will fall a little more closer to the floor. Let the arms hang heavy. And inhale, rise back up. Walk your hands back up. Sit up nice and tall again. Let's take our right leg, place it over your left knee. So you want this, your left leg to be nice and bent. All of your left leg is on the floor. Feel both sit bones on the mat. So you want to feel both right and left sit bones on the mat. So if that means you can't get your leg completely like this, just let it hang a little bit. Raise your left arm up. Drop it over that right knee. Give a nice twist. Stretching along that right leg. Sitting up nice and straight in your back. And on each exhale, try to twist just a little more. Maybe you can twist to where you can see the back wall. Let's untwist from that one. Switch your legs out, take your right leg down. Bend that right leg, bring that left leg up over that right knee. Feel yourself seated on both sit bones. Bring that right arm up and drop it down over that left knee. When I twist is when I can get the leverage to bend my knee toward me more, pull my knee toward me more, and to stretch that left side. Inhale. And exhale, twist a little more. Feel a nice upper back twist as well as lower. Each exhale, try to twist just a little more. And gently release that leg. Bring your left knee in. Send your right leg out. Feel both sit bones again on the mat. Maybe turn a little bit, ever so slightly. Turn toward that right leg. You want your body and your hips. Turn a little bit toward that leg that's out, toward that right leg. I want you to reach your arms up and gently forward fold. Reach for the knee, reach for your ankle, reach for the foot. Flex the foot toward you. Straighten that leg. I want the leg to feel engaged the whole time. So you want that knee to be engaged, nice and straight and flexed. And pull yourself toward the knee. Breathing in, don't forget to breathe. Gently come back up. 
walk your leg, hands back up that leg. Bring the right leg in this time. Just go to the opposite side. Send the left leg out. Sit up nice and tall, up out of your lower pelvis area. Raise the arms up. Flex that leg, flex that foot back towards you. Reach for the knee, the ankle, or the foot. Pull your arms toward, down toward the mat. Send your forehead to your knee if you can. Keeping that foot flex, keeping that knee engaged. Breathing in. Nice steady exhales. Keep the engagement of that knee. Keep that foot flex. Keep pulling your foot. Keep pulling your arms toward the mat. Gently release. Come back up. Walk your hands back up your leg. Let's come on to all fours. And take a nice moment. Take all fours like so. And let's just take a moment to do a simple cat cow. Inhale, drop your lower back down. Maybe push the hips back a little more to create a little more arch in the lower back if you need to. Exhale. Push the hand through the hands and the upper back. Tuck the tailbone. Inhale, rise back up. Drop the belly. Maybe you want to bend the arms a little bit, send the hips back a little more. Exhale, rise up. Inhale, let the belly sink, send the hips back. Exhale, rise up like a cat to water. Press up out of your hands. And one last time, inhale. Drop the belly, send the hips back. Exhale, rise up, press up out of the hands, let the head hang heavy. Exhale, all the air out. And come back to center, back to neutral. This time I want us to, I'm gonna take my jacket off so you can see. I'm warmed up now. I want us to roll our spine like a wave. So you're going to inhale, drop the lower back down. Exhale, roll, pull through the arms forward one vertebra at a time. Exhale, roll the back back. Inhale. Pulling through. Exhale, sending it back. Inhale, roll forward. Exhale, back. Do this a couple more times at your own pace. our lower back. Raise the right leg, flex the foot, drop the hip just a little bit. Raise the left arm. Inhale, look under that left arm just a little bit. 
raise that right leg, hold it, and exhale, bring back. Send the left leg out, raise the left leg, drop the hip, send the right arm out, inhale, rise up, look underneath that right arm, and exhale, drop it back down to the floor. Send the right leg out, raise the right leg, drop the hip just a little bit, extend the left arm, raise up, look underneath that left arm, hold it, two, three, four, five, six, gently lower back down. Send the left leg out, raise the left leg, drop the hip a little, send the right arm out, raise up, look underneath that right arm, two, three, four, five, six, gently lower back down, right leg goes out again, flex the foot, raise up, drop the right hip just a little, send the left arm out, raise the left arm and the right leg, look underneath the left arm, raise a little higher, and gently lower back down, left leg goes out, raise the left leg, drop the hip a little, Send the right arm out, flex the foot toward you. Raise up, look underneath that right arm. Hold it and gently release one more time on each side. Send the right leg back, flex the foot toward you. Raise it up, drop the right hip a little. Send the left arm out and raise up and look underneath that left arm if you can. Hold it. And gently release. One last time, the left side. Flex that foot toward you. Raise that left leg. Send the right arm out. And rise up both leg and arm. Hold it. Look underneath that arm if you can. Four, five, six. And gently release. And let's sit back into a child's pose. Release that lower back. Walk the arms out a little bit in front of you. Kind of sway side to side a little bit in your hips. Just loosen that lower back a little more. back up. Let's send our left leg out in front of us in simple pigeon pose. If you need to, you can take a block or a blanket and place it on the this side and right underneath your thigh for a little more support. Just sit down into that pose. Press back a little bit just ever so slightly into that lower back. And if you're really flexible, you can reach for that back leg. Take the opposite hand. Take your left hand and reach for your right foot. Release that leg and let's walk our hands down to the mat. Let your head fall heavy to the floor or you can use a block here to rest on or a blanket. Whatever feels good for your body. Sometimes I like to roll my leg right to left really slowly just to get a stretch, a little deeper stretch in 
different parts. Bring the right leg forward this time into a pigeon pose. Like I said, you can take a blanket or a block and place it underneath your hip right here if you have really tight hips and IT bands. It might help give a little support so you don't strain that muscle too much. Ungently press up. Flexible. Take your right hand behind you and reach for that left foot. And release that foot and gently walk your hands down to the mat. Maybe it's just your forearms that reach the mat. That's completely okay. Or maybe you like to take your arms all the way out and down, rest your head either on a block or a blanket or bring your head all the way to the mat. Breathe in deeply. Send the air, the oxygen to wherever it may hurt or it's tight. Allow your mind to control your body. Allow your mind to release and to have power over the tightness or the pain. Breathing in. Gently come back up, walk your hands back up. Let's come onto our feet. Walk your hands gently up all the way. I'm going to turn my mat to face you for a few minutes here. Let's come to the tops of our mats. Stand up nice and tall. Raise your arms up above your head. Feel your legs engaging like they're one. Squeezing the legs and the glutes together like it's one tree trunk. Exhale, forward fold. Touch the mat with your hands. Inhale, halfway lift the back nice and straight. Engaging the legs still. Exhale, forward fold. Place the hands on the mat. Step the right leg back. Drop the knee down to the mat. Inhale, rise up. You can keep your hands here on your waist. Sit down into that lunge position. Or you can inhale, rise up. Take the arms up above the head. Take a block. You can use your blocks to sit back into this position. Let's get a nice stretch. Flex, flex that foot back toward you. A nice stretch down the back of that hamstring. Keep your hips nice and square facing forward. Don't let your hip fall out to one side or the other. A nice aligned hips facing front. a block on either side here. You can use blocks to help support you right here. And inhale. Back to lunge position. Rise up. And exhale, bring your hands down to your side. 
position. You can keep your hands here if you like. Try not to let your hips sway out to the side one way or another. Keep that foot flexed. You can use your blocks for support here on either side. Or you can bring your hands down to the mat if you're comfortable, as long as you can keep that spine nice and long. Inhale nice and deep. One side of mine is always tighter than the other. If you're a side sleeper, your hips might feel a little tighter in the morning, your lower back. Inhale, take that lunge one last time. Rise up, hands on the hips. into the hurdler position one last time. Flex that foot up toward you. Keep that leg nice and engaged. Keep that leg straight. That knee engagement is very important. Keep the spine nice and straight. So you don't want your spine to be hunched over like this. You want it to be nice and straight through that lower spine. Keep that foot flex back toward you. that leg. Come back to all fours. Sit back on two your feet. Have your feet tucked behind you. Let's give our feet a nice stretch. The feet don't get enough love. And we're walking around in shoes that are that aren't good for us or we're barefoot on a hardwood floor. Let's give his feet a nice stretch. And one last stretch, untuck your toes. Sit onto your feet. Spread your knees. I'll face you one more time. Spread your knees, maybe in your feet. You want to almost be able to sit back still on your heels. And then let's take it back, gently lower down toward the mat. And if you can, you can take your arms all the way back. And let your head touch the mat keeping your arms above you. Pressing the chest up toward the ceiling. Breathing in deeply. And then gently Bring your hands back up, rise back up, and let's take a nice Shavasana. Lie down onto your back, get comfortable. We do one last stretch. You can do a happy baby here. You can stretch one leg at a time, whatever feels good for you. lie down, hands to our sides, get comfortable. If you'd like to take a blanket and place it right here where your hip meets your glutes, that'll help alleviate the pressure in your lower back. You could also take a blanket and roll it ever so slightly and place it under your neck for complete relaxation. And let's breathe in two, three, four, hold it, and exhale, two, three, four, 
five, six, and inhale, two, three, four, hold, and exhale, two, three, four, five, six. Let's continue breathing at this pace. Relax your body. Let your stomach relax. Feel your body relax even more on each exhale. And feel your arms and your shoulders let go. Feel your spine sink into the mat even more. Feel your face. Relax. Whenever you feel your mind start to wander, just focus on your breath. exceptional meditation and carry your good intention throughout the day.